was very hot for the spectators and um, and I think this, the athletes weren't too bad, they didn't mind it, but when they try to satisfy the spectators and then the athletes were affected. Peter Viles uh, from Goldock contacted Griffith looking for someone to do some computational fluid dynamic simulation uh, of the velodrome. Well, the thought was to install some fans uh, in, inside the velodrome and to try and use those uh, fans to uh, make it comfortable for the spectators uh, without uh, interfering with uh, the athletes on the track or the cyclists. Once he broke it down and kind of told us what the possible solutions could be, then with the help of the Goldock team I knew we'd be able to solve it. I had an advantage already, um, especially um, using fundamental principles of heat and mass, um, transfer thermodynamics and applying it to to the velodrome. Unknown to them, they, they did have a good skill knowledge already from thermodynamics, heat transfer. If we increase the temperature of the air, um, keeping the pressure the same, uh, we'll uh, reduce the density and therefore reduce the drag. Air circulation, air density plays a huge part and we're very fortunate to live in Queensland where we have really hot weather. It feels effortless and it feels like you're just moving so fast and so fluid. An internship at Goldock really um, puts you above other graduates because not many graduates can say they've been a part of the 2018 Commonwealth Games.